Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this week's video I'm going to be discussing session hairdressing and I'm going to be showing you how to do the frizz. Now this technique has been used on multiple shows and seminars and I'm sure you've seen it absolutely everywhere in editorial. Now it not only has an editorial purpose, it can also be transferred over into a salon use. So if you've ever wondered how it's done, I'm gonna show you and I'll show you the finished result. Now, I would also just like to say a massive thank you to everybody that supported the channel, that's liked, subscribed, and hit the notification button and continues to help this channel grow. And a special thank you as well to all those people that have donated to buy me a coffee in the link below, which really does help this channel and buys me the head blocks and the lights and everything to keep the channel going. So thank you so, so much. So when you start session hairdressing, the first thing you do obviously is you have to start to assist and build up your portfolios and I actually have two portfolios and I'm just going to show you quickly some of the work in them which also have some of the frizz techniques so if you would like to see more videos maybe on session hairdressing and some tips on that then please in the comment box below just put session and I'll know if there's an interest to do some videos on that. Okay, so here we have uh, my first portfolio, which is like the high end editorial. And you can see we have a couple of images here. And again, what we have here is we have the frizz. So it is a sort of an airy, light, fluffy texture, which really gives the hair a light consistency. And also, if you come over here, you can see this is an ad campaign for Harvey Nichols. And again, we have some frizz here and on this ponytail through there. And then this is another one. And you can see this is actually the pin set, the frizz. This is how you do it, which I'm going to show you. And this is before the pins are actually taken out and I've used this as well. So again, this does have applications for other areas. So obviously in this book, we sort of have more of a sort of a high end sort of fashion, L, Vogue. Oh, and here's another one as well. This was a much larger sort of pin set, which again, I'll go through later on. Whereas in contrast, my second book is sort of a more commercialized book. And actually the hair in this is sort of very, very subtle. It isn't the main sort of focus of the fashion work. It is more sort of to do with the sort of the image and it just looking sort of more natural and actually sort of really not done by a hairdresser, just sort of cleaned and tidied up. And it's this that sort of is more your everyday sort of work that you have to do. Whereas it is lovely, just like in the salon, you know, to get to express yourself. The same is true in editorial. Okay, so all you're gonna need to do this is you're gonna need your pin tail comb. You're gonna need a very fine pin or a size of pin that you want to achieve the look and hairspray and some straightening irons. Okay, now, like I said, you can do this on any sort of size pin you want from a very small pin up to a very large pin, or if you're actually using this in the salon, if you take a wire coat hanger and you cut the straight bit out and you bend that into a V, and then you put large strands of hair in that and then clamp that with the straightening iron, leave it to cool down, take it out, you're gonna get a much softer, more beachy sort of wave than an actual frizz. So, with this, patience is the key, okay? And, and the smaller the section and the smaller the pin and the neater you do it, the softer, the finer, the lighter the hair will look. So we're gonna take a very small section, going to come out slightly on each section. So imagine a graduated bob, and that's sort of how I'm gonna place the pins, just slightly coming further and further and further away from the head to sort of build up the weight and then the top will actually be dragged out. You'll see the end result. And we're gonna place the hair in the middle of the pin, and we're gonna get that as close as we can to the root. And we're gonna go round in a figure of eight. So through the middle, round, through the middle, round, through the middle. And we're just gonna keep working up, okay? And pushing the hair all the way down. Now, when you come to the end of this, you wanna try and get as much of the ending as you actually possibly can do. 
okay? And remember, just work the hair down. Keep going with those ends. Okay, push it all the way down. Okay, and then all you want to do to secure that pin is bend it like that and lock it over. Don't twist the ends, because remember, you've got to get these out. Okay, and now what you have is that, which is the picture that I showed you, okay, in the book. So once we have this, what you're gonna do is you're going to hit it with your hairspray. Now, again, take it from me, you want to do this as you go along. You don't wanna do the whole pin set and then go back through and do this because you will miss them. And then you're literally just gonna put the straightening irons on it for five seconds. And this is what creates the frizz, okay? And then we're gonna move on to the next section and work our way all the way through the head. Now, yes, I know people will say that you can do a similar technique with um, pipe cleaners. You can do it with the end of a pin tail comb if you want to. And I have tried all these different techniques and yes, they do work and they do give a nice effect. However, personally, I feel this is the best. Now, the smaller the pin, the smaller the section, like I said, the lighter, the fluffier, the more airy it's gonna go. Okay, so I've got my coffee, I've got a movie ready to go, and that's me set for probably the next hour to two and a half hours, depending on how tired I get, and I'm gonna work my way through. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. Only joking, it's gonna be really quick for you. Okay, so as you can see, here is it all finished with the pins all in, and as you can see, I've created a nice shape and it's sort of like a graduated bob. It's tight in at the bottom and then becoming sort of looser at the top. So now we have to take the pins out. Okay, and this is why you really don't wanna do them up tightly. You just wanna be able to just unlatch them and then just simply slide that pin out. And as you can see, we've got a really sort of nice shape to it. So if you imagine that on a much larger scale, done with massive sort of pins, like I said, with, with a piece of the coat hanger bent in large sections, it would give a nice beachy curl, but it gives a lovely little shape, but we're not finished yet. We've got to take all these pins out and then we can do the fun bit, which is actually brushing through it. So I'll see you in a sec. So all the pins are out and now for the fun bit. So we're just gonna take our Mason and Pearson brush and we're just gonna gently brush through these. Now, again, just take your time, take nice small sort of sections and just slowly work on doing this. Um, you spend so long sort of doing this that don't brush this part. And also if you go too mad, it, you know, if you're doing it on a live model, it does pull, it can hurt. So just sort of take small sections and brush through them very gently. So like I said, this is the fun bit and we can just take our brush and we can start to brush through sections. And again, if you want to hold a section and you actually see sort of the more you brush it, the more it begins to frizz up. So I'm just going to work my way through just gently brushing this out and show you the finished result. And why don't you give this a go if you're in lockdown or you've got a few hours spare, then why not show me your creations and post them. And if you're not a member on the Hair Tutorials Facebook group, join us and pop your pictures on there so that we can all see your creations. Okay, and here's the final result. So very sort of avant-garde, very editorial. Like I said, it has multiple uses and depending on how you put the pins in and place the pins, depends on the sort of the shape you get. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing some of your creations on the Hair Tutorial Facebook page. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. And thanks again for watching. And why not check out some of these other videos coming up.